basketball prediction wrong on the upside of that. So, um, you know, it's just a cold, wintry day. This wind is is crazy. So um, I'm going to hop back inside. I'll join you on the on the PC for a little bit. But I'm going to be in and out taking some video and pictures. I might try to ride the town. It's only a couple miles from here. And uh, I do definitely have four-wheel drives. So uh, I'm going to hop inside, and I'll join you all in just a little bit. Scotty Powell, live from Morganton, North Carolina, and Western North Carolina. Thank you for that. Five inches of snow there, and I think he's right. He's got more snow in Burke County than we're seeing in Watauga County, where two inches of snow are coming in. Let's shift gears, and let's bring in Evan Fisher in Asheville. Good morning to you, Evan. We've been looking at your balloon launches uh, allowing us to get an idea of what's happening there in the upper atmosphere. What is that like at UNC Asheville to be doing those launches this morning? Yeah, good morning, James. Thanks for the question. It's good to see y'all. It has been pretty raw. Um, it is. It, we've just been dumping snow since about 4 a.m. Really heavy rates, about an inch per hour for the last few hours. We're now approaching five, maybe going to five and a half inches of snow. So pretty similar to what Scotty has seen over there in the foothills. Um, but it, it's getting, it's gotten a lot breezier over the last two hours since we launched our last balloon. So we're getting ready to launch another balloon here in the next hour. Uh, this one could be a little bit rowdier as we try to wrangle a big five foot wide balloon full of helium out into the elements and, and get that uh, up into the air. What have you guys been seeing? Based on your tweets, it's looking to us like the atmosphere above you is still below freezing, but maybe warming slightly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we are seeing the warm nose is there, but it's below freezing right now. So it, it's not an issue. In fact, right now we've got a great sounding for heavy, heavy, big aggregate flakes, um, which is, is great. If we could keep it right here, that'd be wonderful. But we are seeing that warm nose edge ever so slightly closer to the freezing mark. I suspect uh, by late morning and sometime over the next couple of hours, we'll see our heavy snow transition into more of a, a sleet mix. I don't think we'll be seeing freezing rain here, um, but sleet certainly looks possible uh, with this next sounding going up. Uh, that's what we're going to be looking for is how close to the freezing point are the temperatures a few thousand feet over our heads. How many balloons do you guys have today? We have launched three so far. We've got four to go. We've been up since... First launch started at 1 a.m. Um, and we started prepping around 11.30 or so last night. Um, I suppose that was last night. Yep. So we got a second team coming in to relieve myself and a couple others. Uh, and they'll take over for the rest of the day shift while I attempt to drive home or sleep in a classroom. I'm not sure which. Right. Yeah. Now I want to show people some file video. This isn't you guys in particular, but I wanted to show people what a balloon looks like, um, more or less speaking. Um, so this is some file video we have on hand, and you can tell me whether or not this looks like yours, but it's a, it's a giant balloon that you guys essentially tie um, weather observation equipment onto, and then it transmits back down. Is this, is this more or less what it looks like, what you guys are working with this morning? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's pretty much spot on. It's been a big learning curve. Uh, I had never done this before. This was my first time joining the team. So it's very interesting learning how uh, a radio sound, what you're seeing on the screen right now, works and how everything gets connected to this giant balloon uh, and it gets hauled all the way up into the atmosphere, hundreds and hundreds and, oh, I guess uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of feet over our head, all the way up to about 150 millibars is how high our balloons have been making it today. They're core punching the jet stream and just taking off towards the north and flying over uh, close to the t Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia border right there. Yeah, I'll just let this video play out for another moment. So, again, this is just archival uh, video we have of what a balloon launch looks like. Um, you guys holding it and then letting it go. And Oh, yeah. Yep, that's how we do it. So we do a little do a little countdown. One person holds a balloon. One person's got the sand in their hand, and you just time it so that it it all goes up at once, and nobody gets stuck with the balloon and getting dra dragged up. <laughs> that would be uh, it'd be like the movie Up. Um, <laughs> it would. I think you probably need a small child to do that. We certainly wouldn't want that. We're a little, we're heavy enough at this point. Yeah, let me show people what the data looks like when it comes on back. Certainly, we've been looking at it here on the Carolina Weather Group, but. Um, this allows us this this is is cutting the lay the atmosphere into a vertical profile and then we're able to see um temperatures um i know jared you've been looking at this data and interpreting it so let me not hog the small window of time we have with evan 
and let you ask some questions about their observations. Yeah, Evan, are, are, I've been looking at this, you know, we've been looking at, I've been looking at a few of these throughout the morning and uh, is y'all's impression that you are seeing a little bit of warming starting to show up uh, around uh, 900 to 850 millibars, perhaps certainly seems that way from my reading of it. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely seeing that southeasterly flow deepen a little bit too at the surface. Um, we are seeing those warmer temperatures, that warm nose that we've talked about starting to invade or at least encroach from the south and east coming up out of South Carolina. I know locations in upstate South Carolina have, are already in the process of changing over from snow to sleet. And in fact, some places are even reporting sleet just 15 miles to our south and east. Uh, so that warm nose is coming. I suspect with this launch that we're about to do in an hour and hour and some change, we're going to see the the temperature profile really walking the zero degree Celsius isotherm. Yeah, I, I suspect that I suspect that to be the case as well. Just what we're seeing with some of the model data here. Um, looking behind me, I mean, you've, we've got we still have uh, Medars coming in uh, of snow there, but yeah, as you mentioned, they're going to start seeing some unknown precipitation and some ice pellets uh, moving in down there. Uh, uh, Evan. It, I'd, I'd be curious, I don't know if anybody on your team has had a chance to do this, but what is your impression of uh, how things are performing uh, relative to the models? Uh, at this point, we were just talking about it. We were impressed, um, I think, as a, a group. And there's only three of us here right now. Uh, we were expecting maybe four to six. We're, we're kind of at the point now where our expectations have been met and everything that falls past this um, is kind of icing on the cake. We do expect that transition to sleet, so our totals are going to get slashed. But if it stopped right now, I would be very happy. <laughs> How much snow do you have on the ground so far? Somewhere between five and six. We haven't been out to measure okay. in two hours, uh, and it was 3.3 two hours ago. Yeah, we were seeing some like two, three-inch estimates early this morning when we started our coverage, and I know some folks were disappointed that Asheville might get that cut in half, but it sounds like – you're, you're seeing more than that, where the, at least with the school is, and that's less than anticipated two days ago, but still a good amount of snow. Yeah, absolutely. And there are, it's important to note, there are several microclimates around town. These are so finicky, they set up with each storm, and they're, you know, they uh, vary with each storm. Uh, but there are some places that are booming. Some, some folks have over six to six to even nine inches of snow that I've seen reported. And there are other spots like where my home is in Fairview um, that have been busting uh, some weird mesoscale warm nose feature. And they've got half the snow of the surrounding area uh, and sleet. So it, this is what to way, expect from these. Right. It's the way it goes in the mountains. It's funky up here and it's a Miller B. This kind of stuff happens. What time should we look for that next tweet with the next sounding? Yep, so we will launch, let's see, what time is it now? We will launch in an hour and seven minutes, uh, and it will probably take us about an hour, and maybe an hour and 10 to get that data out. So we'll be looking for that to come out around 11, 11, 15. We will watch for it on your Twitter, some other places, and of course, we should acknowledge you guys are also sending it to the National Weather Service. We saw those transmissions going earlier to allow them to get those profile uh, atmospheric profiles there. So that's really cool that you guys are doing that for the greater weather community. And what a really cool experience you're getting this morning, Evan. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for having me on guys and asking some questions. Mm -hmm. uh, best of luck with, with the coverage for the rest of the day. And I hope I get to pop in again at some point. I, I more hope so. that you get some rest. Yeah, me too. It's uh, <laughs> for, yeah, 24 yeah. hours just about on the dot now. So yeah, I'm looking forward uh, yeah. to yeah. Yeah, I definitely hope you guys get some rest, but, uh, but thank you for all you're doing. You're, it's this critical data and, uh, and very much of a blind spot uh, uh, for the upper air side of things. So very cool stuff. Amazing experience. Thank you so much, Evan. Um, so what we're going to do now, uh, you know, James will be taken off here here in a minute we're going to give him some relief and, and and let another donut and some coffee and kind of stretch things out a little bit he's been up with us very early this morning did you sleep last night james i'm not sure that you did very little i will tell uh, you that i was reading until two o'clock i was just too wired and awake yeah yeah that's a thing that happens it, it's I'm also hoping somebody comes out here when my wife wakes up. Um, 